All right, it's the Smart Home Helper here, and today we're gonna be installing the Quick Set Aurora Smart Lock. Now, you see I got this fancy board here. This is where I do all my installs, but the first step that you're gonna to wanna to do to get started with this is you're gonna remove the previous lock. Uh, so right here, you can see we got a nice clean lock. Everything is good to go, and we're ready to install our lock. So that's step number one. All right, so now step number two, you're gonna to wanna to get out your two black screws here. Um, so you'll see they're pointed at the ends. And then you're gonna take out the deadbolts. Now, pretty simple here. You're gonna put the deadbolt in here. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that it says up. So we're gonna put it in there. And you'll, I'm not gonna leave it fully extended here. I actually have it short. Um, but if there was more room here, then I would fully extend it. But I'm gonna make sure um, that it's pointing up, it says it on there, and then you'll see right here we got two screws uh, that we're going to screw in. So I'm going to go ahead and screw those in right now for you. So that's step two. All righty, now for step three on getting the Quick Set Aurora set up. The pieces you're gonna need is what I like to call the guts, the face plates, and then the skeletons. Now, this is gonna be somewhat of a balancing act on setting this up. The first two pieces you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need the face plate. And the face plate, the metal part right here will go right through the middle hole and then this guy, which is uh, the power cord, is going to slide underneath. So we're going to have that go through. Make sure that it fits in there perfectly. And if you don't get it the first time, you want to make sure that you have it lined up correctly. So there you go. And make sure that cord is slided underneath there. There we go. Perfect. And you'll see here on the other side, I've got it set up, it's sliding underneath there. And then next, you're gonna pull out what is called the skeleton piece. Now the skeleton, you're going to slide the cord through there, and then there's gonna be a little part on the bottom here for it to rest. So we're gonna push it through there, and then we're gonna line it up and then you're gonna use these two screws next, these longer screws. Now, one of the things that I would strongly suggest is when you're threading this in, you wanna typically go by hand first. So that's gonna be the first thing you're gonna do is go in there with hand, make sure that you get it in there. So I got this one in a little bit. And then I have this one, get this one in there by hand. And something that you can do um, that will actually mess up the lock is when you do complete it, you're going to want to make sure that this middle one right here is not touching anything. Because if it's slid to the side or the right, that can affect how the lock is working. So I'm going to go ahead, fast forward, screw these two in and show you what the next step is. All right, so step number four, we're going to be putting on the guts here. We're going to be using two of these small white screws, so hopefully you can see that. And when setting this up, you're going to have the power cord here, and you're going to have the power cord here. There's going to be two arrows on each that are white arrows, and you're going to connect those two white arrows. You're going to push this cord a little bit back into the lock, but what you're going to do is you're going to tuck it into here. So I just kind of like to use my, my thumb, and I'll push it in, and then I'll line up the lock, and I'll connect it there. Now if there's a little bit of space and you can feel it kind of getting pushed off the lock a little bit, that means you need to push the cord in a little bit more. Um, another thing to pay attention to is with this piece right here, if it's not aligning correctly with this piece, sometimes, and I'm talking about this piece right here, sometimes you have to do what's called rehanding the lock, which I'll show you here later on, that'll help line it up correctly. Um, so I've seen that happen a couple times, but we'll get that on here. 
What you're gonna do is now is you're gonna use your screws and you're gonna connect the two screws on the bottom holes there. So I'll go ahead and screw those in and then we'll go to our next step. All right, so now for our final step. Uh, first part of the final step is you're gonna pull out the back plate here. Uh, you're gonna put in your AA batteries. I would suggest going with some new AA batteries. The ones that come with it typically aren't the best. Uh, but once you get those in, you're gonna slide that right in here in the top. And I click, oh, there you go, we heard a beep. I would click the program button too, just to make sure that you have power on there. Um, but once you get that done, the next step is gonna be rehanding the lock. Uh, so what that is, is we're gonna pull the battery pack out. We're gonna hold this lock button and we're gonna drop this in. And what that'll do is rehanding is essentially teaching the deadbolt which way to go. Uh, this took like five seconds, sometimes it takes 15 seconds, but the deadbolt's gonna go back and forth until it learns which direction to go. And if you ever get any like clicking or anything like that with the lock, that's typically uh, the step that you need to take. Now, the last is gonna be putting on the back plate and you'll see there's three screws. Uh, there's one right there, one right there on the bottom and another one on the side. And you'll be using the little black screws uh, to install. And so we'll go ahead and put this on. There you go. And then I would screw these black screws in um, on the different sides here. But I'll do that uh, following up this video. Now, some other videos that I have, I have a quick set Aurora playlist. Um, I have one about creating codes, one syncing um, the quick set Aurora smart lock. So if you have any other questions, I probably have them on my playlist uh, to be able to help you out there. But for the most part, this is it on setting up the quick set Aurora smart lock. So if you have any questions, comments, please leave your likes. Uh, I'm more than happy to help you out. And uh, yeah, look forward to hearing the feedback and have a great day.